bien et à toutes et à tous les amis, j'espère que vous allez bien, on se retrouve sur Castaret pour continuer nos aventures, donc c'est parti, on va aller pour l'histoire de March. Ok, on n'est jamais complètement prêt, ouais, effectivement. En vrai, même euh, là qu'on est March... Je sais pas s'ils vont nous montrer un petit peu comment... Bon, ils veulent pas nous, nous indiquer comment on marche. Et... Dommage. Ok. Bel accueil, bel accueil. that you will be the ringmaster in place of Lieutenant Yan Ching has been made public, Miss March. Just now, as I passed the contestants' hall, I overheard them all discussing this news. The most common question I heard was, who is March 7th? If they ask you this, how will you introduce yourself? Do you have something prepared? Ah, la jeune beauté de l'Astral Express. C'est vrai que... <laughs> Ici de Yankee. Est invincible, bon, quand même pas. Waouh, je dois. Aucune explication au loser. Waouh, ça fait un peu mal, ça. Et c'est parti. So, <rire> this is the contestant hall. Oh, there are so many people. March, before the war dance begins, allow me to give you one more lesson. My grandfather always told me that a weapon mimics its master. That means that a person's weapon will reflect their habits and personality. You've seen me wield old metal before, haven't you? Tell me, what did you observe from that? Ouais, que t'es un peu bourrin, quoi. Ouais, que t'as un tempérament bien trempé. Waving around such a giant weapon, Master Yun Li favors using overwhelming force over strategy. You're not wrong. My battle style has always been simple and effective. One cut, and it's over. Observing the weapon that your opponent uses, assessing what kind of battle skills they excel at, and where their weaknesses lie, is the key to victory in battle. A shockingly heavy sword like mine, for example, is obviously not suited for a long, drawn-out battle. So, it would be best to find a way to drag the battle out. Why would you tell me your weakness? That's the only way to ensure that we have a fair fight, don't you think? I don't want to see you go and lose to someone else after all. Now is a perfect opportunity to learn how to evaluate your opponents. Let's use the people here in the contestants hall to practice. If you know yourself and know your enemy, you will not lose in a hundred battles. Know myself and know the enemy. Let's see. Who should I ask first? Who 
Alors du coup, ici, euh, je ne récupérerai pas tout de suite les coffres. Comme ça, je vais faire une session explo pour récupérer ces petits coffres. Ouais, alors on pourrait mettre pour savoir plus sur ses adversaires, on va mettre bien entendu. Great. First, the question that is on everyone's minds, Lieutenant Yancheng is not appearing in today's war dance. This is just gossip from unreliable sources, but I hear that Lieutenant Yancheng is seriously injured. Is this true? Mais vous avez dit vous-même que c'était une rumeur. Ah, my apologies. This was very unprofessional of me. I see that Lieutenant Yang Cheng has his own affairs to tend to. Then, let us look forward to seeing a valiant performance from you, Miss March. Once the war dance begins, you will be challenged by master swordsmen from many different worlds, Miss March 7th. Are there any that you're looking forward to facing in particular? Allez. Euh... Ah oui, impatiente. Bah oui. May I ask who that might be? Ah, on pourrait très bien nous mettre nous-mêmes. Hein. Ouais, ouais. C'est vrai qu'après. Uh, who? Oh, are you talking about a contestant here today? Normalement, il y est pas. Hein. Thank you very much for accepting my interview. Much appreciated. On se fait de la pub, on se fait de la pub. Allez, on va examiner euh, d'autres personnes. I came here because I wanted to meet the great Lieutenant Yan Ching I've heard so much about and finally cross blades with him myself. Who would have imagined that he would take a disciple and have her be the ringmaster in his place? This is no more than running away from a fight and is a great dishonor to the Yao Cheng. This last minute replacement, March 7th, who exactly is she? Ah, on peut faire un bonjour de ce match. I'm the March 7th that everyone's been talking about. What? Your March 7th? Don't worry. I'm a newbie swordmaster who's only been practicing the art of swordplay for half a month. March 7th. Standing before you is a seasoned cloud knight who has practiced swordsmanship for over 200 years. Tricking the opponent into underestimating me is a valid tactic too, right? Hmm. Ouais. Right. Was there something you wanted to ask me? Est-ce que vous avez des faiblesses? <rire> On pourrait lui demander. Hein. If I had to think of a weakness, um, well, whenever I open my mouth, I, uh, I make things awkward. Does that count as a weakness? Oh. I understand what's going on, Miss March 7th and Miss Yun Lee. <laughs> I'm actually not a contestant. 
I'm just here as a security guard. Ah, donc c'était un peu gênant. Si vous avez remarqué quelque chose, de... quel que soit inhabituel. Nothing out of the ordinary. I guess you could say it's all fair winds and calm wolves. Another awkward pause. I know what. Did you get it? Wolves sounds like waves. It's a funny pun. He's actually explaining his joke. Ah, making things awkward really is my weakness. There are still many guests arriving here. Please be cautious. Understood. The first round of the war dance is about to begin. Are you feeling okay, March? Me? I'm fine. As soon as I saw all these people gathered here, I suddenly felt weirdly relaxed. Tous les concurrents ont l'air dignes de confiance. Je ne ressens rien de particulier. Ouais, en fait, je continue à en apprendre plus sur mes adversaires et moi-même. Very well. Go and get your intel. Grab some wings, dream Qui est des concurrents de renom. That's enough knowing the enemy for now. Come on, I want to see what the ring looks like. C'est un concurrent. Petite fille. Euh, you're even asking dating? Essaye de traduire ce qu'il a dit. Ah, it's saying I am not a contestant. Got it. Well, looks like she's done with her questions. That's enough knowing the enemy for now. Come on, I want to see what the ring looks like. C'est vachement sympathique leur zone. Ça va sûrement faire partie de la zone, je suppose. Oh, 
mission General Huayan gave me. Oh, my heart starts racing like crazy. What do I do, Master Yunli? It's when it stops beating that we need to worry. <laughs> Just take in the atmosphere and prepare yourself. I have to leave for a moment and do some inspections around the ship. This was also part of Grandpa's orders. I wonder how Master Yan Ching is doing over there. Hey, focus. General, report. The teams are in position, and the Skyfaring Commission has taken control of the Starskip lanes. Activate all side cranes and have them scan everyone coming in and out of the port. Remain vigilant at all times. Any suspicious movements must be suppressed as quickly as possible before the situation gets out of hand. Yes, General. You two, follow me. What's a signal's nearby, but we lost contact just a moment ago. Did that mean... He will be fine. Cloud Knights, search for the target. Mais ce sera pour un prochain épisode, les amis. On sait que maintenant, March euh, est prête à... Allez, attaquer. Ah, on est encore loin de l'avoir. Donc c'est très bien, dès qu'on aura... Et la quête, on commencera l'event. Et pour le moment, on en a qu'un en fait. Hein. Ouais. Donc euh, autant euh, essayer d'avoir le tout au max. Parce que c'est vrai que ça nous fait quand même un petit peu de jade à avoir. Hein. Donc euh, autant euh, essayer d'aller au plus vite et chercher euh, ces quelques jades stellaires. Hein. Évidemment. Et ça nous donne euh, un tapir. C'est surtout qu'on aura les Edolon, donc ça peut être cool. Ah, c'est une représentation de, de Yonking et Luca. Ok. Bah écoutez les amis, je vous dis donc à très bientôt pour de prochaines aventures sur Castaray, en espérant que ça vous ait plu. Et salut à tous